Uncle Sam FM here with my American Football 19 series. This is episode 14, and we are in the NCAA College Cup with Michigan State. The College Cup is what they call the Final Four of the NCAA tournament. So my first season with Michigan State, I have a chance here to win the national championship. And this is going to be a double live com, and I'm not going to edit it. The last couple videos, I've edited down the live comms to save some time. But this one, we're going to go full live com the whole way with no editing, uh, except for maybe a couple if I'm adjusting my in-between match highlight screens and so on. But as far as gameplay, tactical moves, substitutions, you're going to see the whole thing. Um, and my opponent here in the semifinal is Houston Baptist. And they are a good team. It's a little misleading when you go to their squad and you see uh, there's the, my scout's ability of their ratings. I went through and you know, I'm taking this kind of seriously. So I'm looking at all what my scouts have. Or, well, I'm looking at each player, seeing what kind of, I've seen the ratings. And um, it's pretty, they're, they're not as bad as what they look. Um, you also look at their schedule and they've been pretty dominant. They've only lost two games. They drew one. Um, they have been probably the second best team in the country this year. So they earned their trip here. This is not a fluke that they got this far. So this first match is not going to be easy. Um, looking at my squad, I'm, I'm pretty well fit. I, if any, they have a slight fitness advantage. They're in the low 90s, most of their starters. We're in the mid to upper 90s. Um, so we're, we're pretty well fit. We're pretty ready. I do have a couple of issues. I've got um, Del Campo is recovering from an injury. He's ready to play, but he's only at 85%. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave him on the bench and start Daniel Johnson and hope that Johnson can do the job. Um, and Marcus Ansel is injured. He'll be out for the rest of the season. And then my num one of my number 10s, he's my backup number 10, but he'll also be out for the College Cup. So that means my for my backup uh, number 10, I'm going to have to go with, with Caleb Wilson. Um he is he was my number two attacking midfielder so i'm not too worried about that but um that is just kind of brings you up to date with what i'm looking at squad wise so without further ado let's look at let's uh get this thing going we are the match is taking place at wake med park in Cary, north carolina that's where the um north carolina fc team plays um they are in the usl championship and every year the College Cup is hosted by, um, they select a host, there's bidding involved and all that, but it's at a neutral site. Uh, all the other previous matches are, are hosted um, by the higher seed. And so, here we go. I'm going to tell them you deserve to be in the final. And not a great reaction from that, but that's okay. No reds. Um, tactically, I, I just, I don't know, I, I can't even really say why. I, I've done this through most of the, I, I've turned off my play out of defense and my work ball into the box. And I'm doing that until I see how the other team is playing me. Um, what I found is that, and I really saw this in the Indiana game, the first round game, and I've been doing this ever since and it's worked. But teams are kind of pressing me. They're coming at me with, with my um, when my players in the back, when my back line has the ball, when we have possession in the back, they're pressing. And so I, I'm taking play out of defense and work ball out of the box off so that we kind of, well, we take what they're giving us. Um, and so it's worked so far. I'm going to keep, you know, keep an eye on that. Um, if they are laying back, then maybe I will tick one or both of those back on. But that's what I'm going to do for now. Stick with the balance, at least for now. And here we go. I'll be in the all green, 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 Houston Baptist in the blue, white, blue. All right, five minutes in. Ooh, looks like it's pretty even. I always, we got our possession back up. All right, first corner kick, Daniel Johnson to take. Puts it out. 
to somebody. I couldn't tell who, but I guess somebody was offside. Tan Antonio Moore was offside. Houston Bam is coming at me with a 4-4-2. They get across into the box on a free kick, and it's headed over. So they get the first shot of the game. We are controlling possession. Johnson with a free kick outside. He gets a, his shot is blocked, but he gets the rebound, but puts it wide. So now we have two shots to their one. Bryant on the throw. It's a can two whose shot goes out for a corner. Johnson lays it back to Moore. Moore back to Johnson. Johnson trying to find somebody there in a dangerous spot in the area, but couldn't find anyone. But we get the ball back. Now we've got Johnson dropping it to Bonero. Johnson to Martinez. Johnson plays it up. And we get a free kick. And Johnson puts it over the bar. Not a lot of people showed up here. Where does this show the attendance? We don't see the attendance yet. Looks pretty low. Houston and Michigan are both... Ooh, uh oh that's a bad ooh, free kick. And they have a couple shots there. Set pieces. Um, both... Houston is in Texas, obviously. And we're coming from Michigan, in which neither of those are very close to Cary, North Carolina. You're probably talking about um, 14 to 15 hour drive for both teams. Johnson free kick out wide. Moore's header goes over. My assistant's telling me to work the ball into the box. Uh, I guess I'll do that. I'll we'll put work ball in the box in and see what see what happens. Because um, we are, we we are not getting the possession that we'd like. Um, half of our shots are long shots. Really weren't able to create much. But we've not really given up much either. Two of their three shots came off of a set piece, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna panic yet. We are used to controlling play a little more, but Houston is probably the best team that we've played all year. Houston Baptist. Brian up to Moore, who loses it. Yeah, he was offside. Offside. <clears throat> I already am not crazy about what I'm seeing with the work ball into the box. Johnson's a free kick from near half, but we could not get it. Did to make it a chance out of it. Ramirez puts a shot or a cross in that's headed in the keeper's hands. Still nil-nil. Right, we're coming close to the hour mark. I'm not gonna not gonna make any subs. Moore crosses it in. Oh, shot by Martinez is saved. And the score remains nil-nil. Martinez now with the ball to Cantu, whose shot is blocked. And here comes Houston Baptist on the cor on the counter. Espinosa looking for somebody at left. And we get a foul. And they give a set piece. Oh, they had it wide. I'm going to say my keeper would have had that had it been on target, just because that'll make me feel better. All right, Johnson with a free kick. Puts it far post, and Moore does end up with it, but it heads it into the keeper's hands. 67th minute. Nil-nil. Houston Baptist has made a sub. I'm going to see what happens here. I guess they... Got a piece of that free kick because now we have a corner. Daniel Johnson takes the corner, goes far post, but the keeper punches it out. Bonero to Garza, who I don't know what Garza was doing there, but he's a center back. And Houston's possession deep in their own area. 
I need to raise a pressing urgency. Ramirez wins the ball, drops it to Bernero, and here we go. Let's get something going. And we have a long ball. Oh, but oh. Dunwell picked up a uh, mishandled ball, but he could not get the finish. He puts it off the post. All right. All right. I'm going to take off work ball into the box. What do they want me to do here? No, I don't worry about his. Okay, looks like we're gonna, unless we can make something happen here, go into extra time. Narrow up to Cantu. More in the area. This cross is deflected out for a corner. So here we go, guys. Let's. Create something here. Daniel Johnson to Moore. Oh, Moore's cross goes into nobody and back to our defense. Ramirez to Martinez to Cantu. Would really like to have gotten a goal. Now I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with the substitutions. Oh, that back pass almost went in and went across the line. All right, looks like we're going to go to extra time. And it is golden goal. So I just got to get one goal here. <clears throat> All right. So we've not dominated like we usually do, but we are. I feel like we've been the better team. Pep talk, we'll tell them that. But I'm going to make some subs. Right, I'm going to send in Weiss. I am going to bring Del Campo on. Recovering from an injury, but I need something. Um, and I'm going to bring, I'm going to get my guys who are terrified off. I can't have bunch of chickens. Gillard, what is he? He's 21, so he's a little older. We'll put him in. Um, Johnson's at 67%, but you know what? He's one of my best players. I'm not going to take him off right now. Alright. The pep talk. Tell those guys that we've got faith in them. All right, so extra time. I'm not going to, I don't really think I need to change anything. Um, we have been the better team. We've not put a lot together, but that has to do with how good they are. We've limited their chances, so I don't really, you know, if I got through any game and only gave up four shots, I would be pretty happy with that. So just because we've not created as much, I'm not going to read too much into that. Wilson out to Bryant. It would be great to just end this thing right away, guys. Let's just, I mean, why? Why draw it out? Let's end the drama. Up to Del Campo. Who just gives it away? Come on. This was, that was your chance to be the hero. Jones, back to Johnson, to Wilson, to Weiss. Who has it taken? Ryan back to Jones, to Wilson, who's got Del Campo! <laughs> All right. Come on, you got to stop losing the ball right there. He needs help from the right back. Johnson puts the cross in, but nobody's there. There it is! Done well with the finish and the winner. We are on our way to the College Cup final. Boom! There we see the sequence. Lee Johnson's cross is headed out. It ping-pongs around a little bit, and Dunwell puts it away. And I'm sorry if banging on the if banging on the desk made a weird noise there, but we'll I guess we'll blow past it. All right, 96 minute win. That's that's big. That's a good result. Um, whew, all right, let's go to the dressing room.
Uh, it's all the guys. Good job. Let's see. Well, <laughs> there is kind of a, uh, a bug with FM this year. So, <laughs> and I probably should post this somewhere. But when you have a golden goal victory, the post game speech acts like it's in between halves. It's like a it's like an end of first half speech. Your options are to tell the guys to keep going. And it's like, well, we don't need to keep going, you doofus. Um, even here. Well, it, the individual talks. I'm not sure what all. Let's pick somebody here. Bryant, what is... Yeah, I need you to calm down. Yeah. Although it does say, I don't know, it's mixed. Whatever, there's something wrong with it as the team talks are as if it's halftime. All right, so good result. Exciting. It's intense. That's what you expect in an NCAA tournament game. Um, to go down to the wire, especially when you get to the final four. You're talking four of the best teams in the country. And I'm going to say, even though the player who scored the winning goal was he played the whole 96 minutes, but I'm going to take credit for subbing out the four guys right behind him. Um, the, they helped to create that chance. <laughs> Although actually Lenny Johnson was the player who put that ball in the box. Whatever. I'm taking credit. All right? it's, I won this match, basically. Um, and as always, it's saving the game after I have it set to do that. For several reasons. For one, just in case of a crash. Um, I don't really get tempted, but whatever, just in case you, I get the temptation to save and reload. I don't do that, but this just makes sure that I can. <clears throat> All right, so one to nothing. I think we already, I think I already know who my final opponent's going to be, but we'll, we'll check it out here. College Cup, taking Charles Husky, Central Arkansas. All right, Central Arkansas is the team we're going to play. Here's another goofy thing that happens to me in, in this. Um, my team is all amateur. Um, and my club is it's always amateur. And so teams will come in. Well, players will come to me with and their agents demanding a new deal, but they there's nothing else. I can't add clauses to the amateur deal. The only thing that I can change is their is the whatever the playing time, and he wants to be a hot prospect. Okay, sure, and it always makes him happy. So whatever, I don't I don't even bother asking him to sack the agent because it's not a it's not a money issue for me. So all right, well, <clears throat> obviously a lot of my guys played most of the game there. Well, they all played starting eleven played the whole game. So. I might need to look at that heading in. Good news is, is that they also are going to be pretty fatigued. Um, Central Arkansas won the Sunbelt Conference, apparently, with the regular season. Um, I have to get a scouting report on them before I know anything about their players. At least my, well, yeah, I don't think I can see their, I can see some of their ratings. <clears throat> look at their schedule. They had a great season, too. Only one loss. It was a big one at Old Dominion. But other than that, they only had two draws, one to Georgia State and then one to Rutgers, uh, our nemesis. <laughs> um, Rutgers had that draw, even though they had a man sent off in the sixth minute, interestingly. So, should be a good game. Uh, I expect a similar type match. Um, so, I'll come back when that match is ready to start. All right, here we go. We are in the College Cup final. We are playing against Central Arkansas of the Sun Belt Conference. I feel pretty confident about this one, but Central Arkansas is no pushover. They're a decent team. A um, couple of players really going to have to worry about. You've got uh, a right back, Chris Williams, who we can't. We didn't get much. My scouts obviously only so much they can do, but they. Um, what you can see, though, is clearly he's strong. So he's going to be tough um, for uh, Antonio Moore to deal with on that side of the field. Um, he, he probably tackles well, probably marks well. His positioning is probably good. I always try to assume the high end of these, you know, these rating scales. So uh, Chris Williams will be tough. They also have a very good left midfielder 
Um, according to my whatever scout, they're going to be playing a 4-4-2. But uh, this Martinez guy looks really fast. So that's going to be a challenge. He, um, again, plays on the left. I might keep an eye on that, think about what to do with my right back. Um, if you know, I'll keep an eye on that matchup. And then they've got a guy who can score. Adam Briggs is, um, yeah, he's not bad. He's he's obviously also going to be fast. So we got to anticipate that they're going to try and hit long balls over my defense. So I'm already thinking about dropping my back line. I don't want to make I don't want to make too many um, too many changes. That's going to kind of unravel my style of play. I, I feel like well, I, I, I don't know. I guess I just I want to be cautious. I don't want to change just for the sake of changing. But but hey, this guy, he's fast. He works hard. So um, definitely going to have to keep an eye on him. Um, if it looks like he's going to be a problem with long balls over the top, I'll I'll drop my back line back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. So get going here. We are going to try and win the national championship. Yeah, 4-4-2. Yeah, Martinez, they've got him playing in advanced. And he's on the same side as Briggs. So, so yeah, that's going to be uh, it's going to be something to think about. I do have Mar Martinez as my more defensive of my attacking center mids. I'm going to come out with my balance with the thought of going a little more positive. Only because, I don't know, I shouldn't, probably shouldn't make decisions based on this, but Central Arkansas is, um, I know they're a lower reputation team, right? I, I think they're going to be, I, I can tell you they start as a lower reputation team. Um, and so we're the favorite. And so normally... When you're the favorite, you know, you kind of need to go positive, a little more positive than normal. But I'm I'm gonna leave things as are for now. Into to Dunwell, Dunwell to Martinez, and we have a shot already. Burko hauls it in. Again, we're keeping an eye on that. It'd be our right there, left. Fisher has a free kick. Puts it over, and our keeper goes long. Oh, Dunwell takes it off their center back, but he can't finish it. Keeper makes the save. We get a corner. First corner of the game. Lenny Johnson to take. Drops it to Moore. Moore crosses it in. We get a shot from Martinez, but it's blocked. Johnson drops it to Garza. Garza back out to Moore. And we have a foul. So a free kick from over there. Johnson takes. Moore gets it. <laughs> shot is blocked, and we have a corner. And here we go. Bryant. Oh, do we have a penalty? We do. We have a penalty. If I get this, I'm going to adjust that right back position. And Lenny Johnson makes the penalty. I don't even necessarily see a penalty. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Because they've got that attack coming down the left, I'm just going to set Ramirez to defend. Right now he's on automatic. I'm one of the few people who actually use the automatic um, mentality. So, yeah, we'll have him play defend, and we'll also, and this is probably going to be a mistake, but out of possession, I'm going to drop my back line just a little. <clears throat> and try and counter what is no doubt going to be their strategy. I mean, they'd be really stupid not to try and move that ball to the left. And we're going to tackle there. Back to New Grit. Coming off our feet a lot. Cantu wins the ball. Drops it to Moore. And we have a free kick. Johnson's free kick is wide. They have a goal kick. Briggs. And back to Bryant. Soria has it, and he sends it up. And here we 
we go. Johnson to Del Campo. Del Campo <laughs> does it himself, gets the shot, but keeper saves. And they're knocking it around the back. They're going long to the to their right. I don't they should be. <laughs> if I had their players, I would be pushing everything to the left. I would be very left-handed. More sides than it had done well, whose shot is scooped up by the keeper. Nothing too dangerous there. Probably could have done better. I'd rather possess the ball a little bit. Guess it'll feel Johnson's free kick is over. Feel a little dirty to win this by on penalties, but I'm not going to complain. Here they come down the right. Newell crosses it in, but Garza is there. All right, back to Garza, back to Lenny. To Martinez, back to Lenny Johnson, to Bryant. I did go ahead and start Del Campo at right wing. As you saw. Uh, and he is still one of my most dangerous attackers. There he decided to try to take on three guys and then just launch it over the, the post, over the bar, but... <clears throat> yeah, it looks like they're trying to play like a build-up type game. There's Bernero. Oh, Bernero gives it away to Briggs. That's the worst player to give that ball to. Yep. Mm, and now we are low. Yeah, mm, can't do that. That's probably because I need to, yeah, okay. Not going to be playing it out of defense. Not going to be working into the box. So we're back to square one. I'm going to leave my back line dropped a little bit. We have a free kick, which we take. Here comes Moore. Is it up for Dunwell? Who I think tries to cross and buys the corner. And Martinez out to Bryant, whose shot is deflected for another corner. I think I lead the nation in corners. I have, uh, I have no, I, I've. No way of conf I'm not going to confirm that statistic, but it just feels I don't see how anyone else could have as many corners as we get. And yet we also do not score very many goals from corners. Probably because of my set pieces. And they're building something <clears throat> up that left side. Ooh, had her into the box, had her into the keeper's hands. To Weiss, to Bryant. Bryant <laughs> takes a shot, man. We get a corner. What a surprise. Lenny Johnson goes to Moore, who buys another corner. Johnson again to Moore. Moore, this time he deflects it back. Johnson puts it up into the box, but the keeper is there. Keeper's name is Burklow. Interesting. And a long goal kick. Oh, I didn't know Bernero has a yellow. I need to adjust his tackles. Dunwell. Dunwell out to Del Campo. Takes it to the byline and buys a corner. So now the Dunwell shot saved by the keeper, and we get another corner. Uh, it feels like, yeah, we have eight corners. Okay. 
Yeah, 14, I shot him 14 to 3. Still taking a lot of long shots, but... I'm trying to decide if I want to make any changes. I don't want to do anything drastic, but... Let's try this. First of all, we'll do our pep talk. Okay, we've got those off. Let's go, let's go a little more direct. Uh, I'm gonna leave my width where it is. I'm gonna counter, and I'm gonna drop my line a little bit. Let's see if I can't draw him up and then hit him because that's really the players I have. That's more their game anyway. And we have a player; they were offside. All right, here we go. More, and they got an injury. Locklear. Maybe, maybe that'll be good for us. Ramirez up to Dunwell. Dunwell crosses it into Moore, who shot, or I guess it may have been a header. Is wide. Free kick. Mm. Come on, guys. Get that out of there. Oh, this is another intense match. Johnson, free kick, and oh, it's a corner. Oh, my goodness. Johnson with the corner to Moore. Oh, somebody, oh, do something. Garza had the ball, and he just sits there and waits for him to be taken from him. Like a big dum-dum, but I guess that's what you get when you have a center back with the ball at his feet inside the area. And Johnson puts it over the bar. All right, here we go. Bryant drops it back. And, oh, that one, that one is definitely, Martinez being out is good. I mean, I don't want to, whatever. Oh, but you're cheering an injury? Well, he's a digital fake player. He's not even, there's not even a real him in real life, so. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, Manic. I'm going to raise my fullback back up. Martinez is staying out there, but I feel like he's injured, so he's not going to be as effective. All right, Moore gets it. This is kind of what we want. Up to Dunwell, who crosses to Del Campo. Yes, yes, yes. Del Campo gives it away like an idiot. Oh, we had something there. Well, now they're coming the other way. Okay, good tackle, good tackle. Right back to Soria, who goes to Dunwell, drops it to Del Campo, and we're coming the other way. Oh, come on. Give me a yellow or a second yellow on that guy on that. Oh, we have a corner. If I had, if we could just get a goal, if they just awarded you a goal for every 10 corners you got, we'd probably win every match like 3 nothing. Can't do something going here. Bryant to Bernero. Puts it up to Bryant. And we have a foul and a free kick, which is from an area where it's basically a corner. Lenny Johnson puts a shot over the bar. <sighs> Ramirez, long throw into the box. Headed out by CAU, right? Or UCA. UCA, University of Central Arkansas. Okay, Ramirez. All right, Del Campo, do something. Crossing the box, cleared out. Martinez's hopeful shot is over the bar. I have most of these guys on don't on don't shoot like a dum dum, but they do anyway. Well, we are hurtling towards another overtime. Oh, oh, almost wasn't. Shot saved by Soria. And we had a corner out, or I had, a, yeah, I had one of their corners out the other way. 
85th minute. To Lenny, to Martinez, to Cantu, to Martinez, shot, ricochets. Bryant back to Bernero. Bernero tries to give it up. Can't put a can two. Can't two dribbles, shoots, puts it over the bar. Oh, I'm gone. Come on, guys. At least put it on target. Challenge the keeper. Bryant. Moore. Lenny. Campo gives it up. Trying to attack. I really wish there was in strike. Like, I want to tell my guys. Attack space. That's what we do in with my teams in real life. We attack space on the dribble. We don't. There's only certain circumstances where we take on players one on one, and when you're in the middle channel, that's not one of those times. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Is it gonna stand? I think it is. Done well with the goal in the last. I mean, this is the dying seconds. There is only 30 seconds left. He's on side. Del Campo heads it across too. Oh, I need to. Ooh. Okay, this is my. If there were traits, I think I've said this in a previous episode. If there were manager traits, like there are player traits, my trait would be that my tactical changes always happen during the highlight where the other team scores. So we're going to... Uh, okay. We're going to go cautious, obviously. We're going to go defensive. Um, team instructions. I think we have all that right. Out of possession. Um, yeah, we're going to drop this. Well, I'm going to go standard. Um, we'll drop our line of engagement so that we have come more compact. And you know what? Transition will go counter because I've got my fullbacks on or, yeah, whatever possible. Okay. Now let's just hope they don't get the equalizer. <laughs> Which they almost did. Okay. All sent long. Then he picks it up. And Del Campbell gives it up. But there it is. Year number one with Michigan State. And we are the national champions. Very exciting. That was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Whew. We want it, not how I would like to, right? But you know, you win how you, well, how you, you do whatever you gotta do to win matches, right? That's. <laughs> um, looking at the stats, we did, I mean, we controlled the game. It's a deserved result, right? Obviously, Central Arkansas had chances to, to equalize this thing, but uh, I feel like we're the deserved winner. Um, that. Defense, that passing in defense is really not good, but I, I'll watch the match again later. But I just I, I don't know that I if ticking that, um, play out of defense would have helped. Um, yeah, I mean, you look at the analysis, and we, you know, that's about what I would normally want my team to look like. Yeah, well, I'm not going to spend too much time with this. I'll, I'll look at this later. But, um, yeah, congratulations. That's a big win for this, for the Michigan State program. Um, I believe it is their second national championship. Any national championship you can win is awesome. So, um, yeah, next episode probably we'll look at, maybe I'll look at the recruiting class uh, that I have coming in for next year. I'll probably uh, look at the schedule. And uh, I've already kind of recorded some, like a recap of the United States, um, how this sort of the season went in soccer in general. So maybe I'll put that up as well. So, uh, all right, well, this will be Uncle Sam signing off after a national championship winning 2021 from Michigan State. See you next time.